Hi everyone, it's Jen from Vine Styles. I hope you're doing well and that you're staying safe. We're gonna be doing another wine, another feature, and um, just letting you know, we're gonna to have to decant this one. So if you're gonna be following along with the tasting, uh, I would suggest that you decant this for about a half hour to an hour. Um, before we get into it, it sits in our bold section and it is the Chateau Close Manceau and it's actually from the Chateau Caliotou from Bergeron and Blay Bordeaux. It's just a little bit north of Bordeaux area. Anyways, it's going to be super fun and uh, let's just get into it. The beauty about decanting is that it actually allows you to delve a little deeper into those aroma profiles and um, you can actually get a little bit more of the tertiary flavors and aromas. Wow, look at how opaque the, the cork is, guys. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Wow, look at that. Whoa. Get in there. All right, uh, just a little quick thing about the cork, how recoltant um, typically means that it's going to be produced on the estate. So the vineyard and the winemaking is all going to be done by the estate, probably by the family as well. Mazillon is the area. That's actually the little town that the Dartier family is from. Apparently they have vines all the way around a, a church there in the center. This blend is actually going to be 70% Merlot and 30% Malbec. And and Malbec is actually deemed as one of those grapes that you're allowed to blend in um, in Bordeaux wines. A lot of people don't know that. Usually people think that Bordeaux wines tend to only be uh, Merlot, Cap Sauv, and Cap Franc, but there is a, a few other grapes that are allowed to be blended in, like Petit Verdot, uh, Malbec. Oh, and I believe Malbec actually in that area is called Cot. So the Clos Manceau property has actually been producing wine since 1850. Um, it's located in the village Mazillon which is this area again. The Dartier family actually started producing wine in 1933 in that area with the grandparents um, taking the helm with only two hectares of vineyard land. And then in 1991, the Dartier siblings actually took over the Chateau Calia II estate. And then falling under that label in 1996, the Clos Manceau property actually also uh, went under their portfolio as well. So a little bit about the current owners and and team that's there. So Marie Pierre and Pierre Charles run the estate after they bought it from their family um, in 1992 officially. Marie Pierre has a background in nursing and was heavily involved in the healthcare system um, until she decided to uh, take a course in vineyard management. Her brother Pierre Charles has obtained an advanced technical diploma in eonology in Bordeaux, and he's currently the, the vineyard manager as well as a cellar master. Their wine consultant, eonologist Nicholas Pefuri, who has been with the family since 1999. And then the technicians, Benoit, who has been the tractor driver since 2008, and Maurice and Dominique, who take meticulous care of the vine since 2000. And of course, the rest of the incredible field workers, you cannot forget about them, picking and pruning and basically every stage of the wine growing process, um, wine growing season, they're gonna be ensuring the quality is top notch. A little bit about the, the vineyard land now. Uh, they have 5,000 vines per hectare. Uh, on 50 hectares of vineyard land. So that's ranging about 250,000 vines um, under the Dartier family. So that's a lot of vines to take care of. The, there's about a breakdown of 80% red varietals and 10% white varietals. And you may remember that we actually did a video on the Chateau Kellia II before where I talked about the brother and sister duo multiple times. Anyways, that was on their Sauvignon Blanc slash Sauvignon Gris blend, which is super, super tasty. There's a little bit of leaves stirring on it, tightening a little bit of like body and texture, super, super yummy. Anyways, the winemaking facility here has actually undergone a considerable amount of transformation. I believe that it was Marie Pierre, the sister owner. On her birthday, she wanted to barrel age some wine and it turned out to be their best vintage. And then so they incorporated um, an aging facility or barrel aging um, area as well. So they do their own barrel aging now too on the property, which is cool. This winery has their sustainable practice certificate and it's called the Terra Vitas certificate. 
It's a certificate that's actually recognized by the French government. Basically, it just means that the family is committed to environmentally friendly wine growing practices. Okay, so let's talk about the wine a little bit now. So as we know, this is a 70% Merlot and 30% Melbeck blend. So the wine that has been produced is then aged in French oak barrels for about 16 months. The Merlot is aged in stainless steel vats for 18 months. Then once the wines have been aged, so for 16 and then for 18 months, the two blends are then put together and then they're aged for another two months just uh, before bottling. And the reason why they aged the blends, the, the two wines together for those two months, so that those flavors can marry together and so it doesn't feel disconnected right so that it can just be melded together nicely it's been an hour I think it's long enough to do uh, for that decanting so we're going to get right into it the color that I'm actually getting through this would be it's right on the cusp of medium to deep medium medium plus ruby oh yeah okay i definitely get that oak in there it's almost pronounced i would say about medium to medium plus in pronounced um, intensity of aromatics so i get a lot of dark uh, berries so a lot of blackberry in there a lot of dark cherry uh, and some black plum as well it tends to have a lot of spicy notes on there too there's almost a little bit of a tea leaf note to it but I'm getting more of a sweet baking spices, some vanilla, some cocoa, a cigar note, but I think it's more, it's like a sweet cigar note. It's quite pretty. It has a little bit of a force floor to it. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's taste. Lots of black fruit on there. I thought it would have a little bit higher acidity than it does. So it's probably sitting about a medium. You see, I'm finding that the tannins are a little bit drying. Oh, which is fine for a wine like this. It's a little bit more savory on the palate. A lot of black fruit though still. Uh, a lot of that blackberry, black plum again. You do get some cherry notes and almost a cranberry note too. But you get some vanilla as well and that tobacco is coming back. It's almost going into a little bit of a... It has a little bit of a butter note on the breath out as well, which I like. A little bit more creaminess. It's really lovely. It also has a note of um, some minerality, so I get a little bit more of a, a wet stone on the palate. Uh, a good strong tannin structure in there, so I do believe that this wine would be able to age as well for at least five more years, but it's drinking quite nicely right now. I think it will be super food friendly, which by the way, let's get into food pairings. For this style of wine, definitely we would go for red meats, beef, we could go into steak, you could go into a burger, and then I would go into some gamier meats, lamb or venison or bison. Thing that I'm thinking is actually more of like a shepherd's pie note with that lamb. This would be great with a charcuterie board. If you're gonna be going into the cheeses, I would probably go for like a softer, riper style of cheese, Jarlsberg style, gorgonzola, you could actually do a really tasty puff pastry with gorgonzola, brie, and caramelized onions. It's super yummy. For vegetables, we could go into probably a sweeter style of vegetable, so squash. Um, we could do some beets as well or some caramelized onion, like I said earlier. Well, that was really fun. Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's 25% off six packs and it is on from April 9th to April 16th. So this is once again, the Chateau Close Menso 2018 uh, Bordeaux. And um, it was super tasty and super fun to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed and that you take advantage of the deal and uh, that I'll see you in store and we'll chat and hang out and talk about the wine. All right, so take care, bye guys.